Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into my channel. Today I wanted to go over how to defibrillate with a Tempest defibrillator. I apologize ahead of time too for the shaky footage throughout the video. I was holding the camera and also pressing the button, so it's a little shaky. And just to be clear, I was not filming on a live person. A symbio was used to produce this rhythm and actually this rhythm cannot be produced by a live person. Just a heads up. Let's say we see the rhythm that you're looking at right now, which is ventricular fibrillation. Ventricular fibrillation is a rhythm that we as EMS providers are taught to defibrillate. So after pressing the green on button, it takes about two and a half seconds to turn on the whole defibrillator. And the moment that it kicks on, it is ready to defibrillate. And there's no accidental shocks from bumping it or accidentally pressing on the screen. It's not touch screen. It's all operated by the buttons. So once you've decided that you want to deliver the shock, you're going to reach over and press that blue button. And that blue button is to charge it. So once you press it, you'll start to notice that the orange button that has the lightning bolt on it, it starts to light up all the way around. And you'll also notice right next to the energy that you selected, there's a little area right there that kind of fills up. Then there's a message to the left side that says, do not touch the patient, press shock button. So the combination of the orange button, that little area next to the energy you selected, and the message tells you it's ready to deliver that defibrillation. Make sure your team is clear, make sure nobody's touching the patient, and go ahead and press that orange button. You don't have to hold it down like you do whenever you're cardioverting a patient, it's just a quick press. And you'll notice that the message right after you press the shock button is continue CPR. So you'll continue CPR and then the next message is select the energy. That just basically means that your defibrillator is ready to select another energy if necessary to defibrillate again. And speaking of energy, those gray up and down buttons are how you select your different energy. So this goes all the way down to one joule and it goes all the way up to 200 joules. All right guys, that's about all I have for you today. Pretty cut and dry, really easy. That's that's the great thing about Tempest. They don't make things super complicated. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below and make sure to watch my other Tempest videos over cardioversion and pacing. I'll talk to you next week. Bye.